Hi butterflies, it's Amanda Jean here with another video and today we're talking about my mental health journey. Links to that in my social media accounts can be found in the description below. Please be sure to check them out, come follow me, come give me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Disclaimer, I am not a doctor or a medical profession of any kind. If you are having physical or mental problems of any kind, please seek proper medical care. I'm just sharing my own personal story so that way you guys feel like you're not alone. Guys, I finally found a great therapist. Yay! So, last November, I went to my first appointment with my nurse at the low income clinic and I was telling her about how sometimes I feel sad and I definitely feel anxious. So she did a quick uh, screening tool with a couple of questions about how I was feeling. And she said, yeah, you came out positive a little bit for depression and definitely for anxiety. And I said, well, I've had therapy in the past, but I wanna try again. Can you please refer me to somebody? And she said, absolutely. So a couple of days go by and I have to call the clinic again and I got an appointment. And it actually took about a month before I could get in to see my therapist. But um, as things were getting closer and closer to my appointment, I just got more and more anxious. My last three therapists I had weren't that great. The first therapist I had after my mother died um, was very caring and understanding, but unfortunately she retired after um, I started therapy. Then the second one um, literally thought I was an alcoholic due to my stepdad's drinking problems. And she just forced me to talk about things that I really wasn't in therapy for. And she also made assumptions about me that weren't true at all, which was really hard to hear. And then my third therapist, which I've talked to, ta talked about here in the past with these videos, she put me on a weird diet. She criticized me for being in folk rehab and just focused on my eating instead of my problems. And that actually made more problems instead of making things better. So I was talking with my friends. I'm like, oh, what about if this therapist is bad? You know, what about if I have to switch? And they're like, Amanda, you don't know until you try. And they're right. So the day of my appointment comes and because of this wonderful pandemic that we're all in, just kidding, it's not wonderful. Um, we actually had to have my counseling through Zoom. So, um, when I got online, I loved their policy. They had to, you had to answer a couple of security questions, like maybe 10 of them before you even got into the waiting room to make sure everything was secure, which I absolutely loved. It was great. And then I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and my therapist calls. And she goes, hi Amanda, I'm your new therapist. Would you like to do your therapy session on Zoom or on phone today? And I said, oh, that's great that we have a choice. So because I was really curious as to what she looked like, um, I said, go ahead, let's, let's do Zoom. And she says, great, I'll see you there in a few minutes. And she connects and we do a technology check where, hey, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Is it lagging? No, great. Um, so that was great. And then um, she started asking me, you know, hey, can you tell me a little bit about your past? Tell me about your therapy sessions in the past, if you've been to therapy. And I said, oh, can I tell you about it? So I told her basically what I just told you guys, you know, about my first therapist after my mother died, the second one I had, and the third. And she goes, I am so, so, so sorry you had a bad experience. And it's so wonderful that you wanna try again and you are willing to fight to get better. And I'm gonna work with you and your team, your nurse, whoever else we may need to work with to get you well. And I absolutely love that positive energy. I loved it. And I loved how she said, Amanda, if I say something wrong, if I don't get something right, you tell me. And I said, great. So um, I, I love that. Um, from there, she asked me about my childhood. You know, I grew up in Texas. I lived with my mom. I lived with my stepdad. Um, we moved here to Florida when I was a teenager. You know, I told her about losing my mom and how scary that was. I was only 16 when my mother passed away. 
and then moving here to my grandparents after my father abandoned me. And um, so we talked about that. And then after that, we uh, went on to the present and she goes, okay, Amanda, who in your circle right now wants to see you get well? Besides me, besides yourself. So I said, my grandpa, I know my dog gives me positive energy. I know he's a dog, but he's loving and goofy and I absolutely love my dog. And then I named my two best friends. And I also said, you know, my butterflies want to see me get well. And uh, after that, uh, she asked me what my goals were, which I would, you know, I'll, I'll go into more detail about that later. And then we went on and talked about my education, you know, about me being in public school, being visually impaired, etc. And then after that, um, we ended the session because we ran out of time, which is fine. And then I just went on about my day. My grandpa and I put Christmas lights up. It was fun. And I had a cup of hot chocolate too, which is mm, delicious. So butterflies, remember, it's okay to get help for depression, anxiety, whatever mental health issue you're having. There are therapists out there that want to see you get well and see you get better. And if one therapist doesn't work, switch to another. Keep going until you are well and you're where you need to be and where you want to be. You do not have to suffer. And with that, butterflies, remember, I love you. Stay positive. Fly high. And I'll see you next time. Bye.